Anji, exciting day. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. We are Michael and Anjali. For the past two months, we've been living in our self-converted van and following our dream of one day sailing around the world on a catamaran. Join us in this episode where we get to be on a catamaran for the first time ever. Okay, let's go. So before we even started van life, I had this big dream of living at the coast and also having time to surf. So today might be the day we go to a second-hand surf shop and check out some boards. Hopefully we find something. Before leaving, we always have to make sure that all the push locks are closed and we also don't have anything which can fall because Michael doesn't drive so safe. <laughs> oh, I would say I drive safe. But things are not safe. For example, this thing always falls down. Mm -hmm. And we have already like a wet. For example, here the wood is already damaged. the store which is a second hand surf shop and it's only a 16 minutes drive from here so we're going to try that first how many kilometers is it 11 okay where to go 9.5 actually here <laughs> block the hole <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's also okay because I mean there's a main footpath. No? We definitely have to define the maximum amount of money we want to spend on the surfboard. Huh? So what what's the maximum? I have no maximum. I mean you wanted one, so and we know they are expensive. Don't say that. We didn't even check if it's open. Yeah, and everything looks super closed here, no? <laughs> Is the price because my calendar is under the 200. I already said 300 and it's got 180. The decision is on you. Let's see how it fits, no? Maybe it will even fit from the height if you put it a bit slanted. You know, maybe it could always be like kind of here. So now just put it on the yeah, so first shopping and then directly to the <laughs> beach. Cool, let's go. <laughs> Someone likes olives. Every time they get over, I feel sad. <laughs> me on my shoulder play soft like a tomb I wanna hear you tell me you don't know what you'll do the words you are not saying really filled up the room but God I could have kissed you actually 
actually reached a spot where we have never been before but the guy in the surf shop said that here are good waves to surf also and it looks amazing so for now we will just um, prepare some food and then definitely we have to try out the surfboard i can't wait and what about you <laughs> we can't wait to see you good team Enjoy your meal. It's time to check out the board, huh? <laughs> Great, that's amazing. I mean, with the new board, it takes a bit of time to get used to. Do you have on camera how I fell? You fell? Oh, yeah, here yeah, on the rocks, they're so slimy. Yeah, we had to bring the board back to the surf store. While I was coming out of the water, there was a rock which was super slippery and just dropped the board on the rock. So now they have to fix it. But it's a tiny edge only broken. So tomorrow we get the board back. But exciting news, <laughs> Anjali. What kind of exciting news we have? Exciting news is that we are meeting maybe in the next days. Ben and Elena Marisa, so they are a couple. Um, who are living on a catamaran, which is, let's say, Michael's favorite cat until now, which would fit in our budget. I'm still going for a trimmer, but <laughs> that's a cat which maybe would be on our radar too. So we just want to go and maybe spend some time with them and now it feels like it's feasible. So that's the exciting part. So we're finally ready to go and meet everyone on the boat. And it's the board. Woo! <laughs> Let's see. I have a lot of questions to ask. We already spoke with Ben the other night about how is it to change from a monohull to a catamaran and we also... Whom did we meet? Or oh, I don't know, we were watching Project Atticus videos where the, they were talking to some professionals and they were not for a cat and that's why we just wanted to know his opinion and it was interesting because he said that a lot of people don't want a cat also for the reason that it's not handmade and a lot of people are traditional so this is why for them yeah, it's not authentic so so they say and the other thing is cats are generally expensive so which we also know and still hoping for it but he also said that maybe we should start with a smaller boat just to get into it and it's also cheaper to buy which is also true uh, true yeah it's Makes true sense. But you can still dream big, so yeah. excited to see the cat today. <laughs> so excited. To get to the boat, Ben came with the dinghy to the beach. But because it was too rocky and waves were high, we drove to a sandy beach close by. We're going to the boat! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> with all the dogs! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> When we were on the dinghy, it suddenly felt so real. We were excited like kids on the way to Disneyland. Finally, the boat was in front of us and it looked absolutely stunning. For a long while, we were just staring at how cozy this floating home was and secretly wishing to get one as soon as possible. Because we had never been on a cat before, we were always wondering how it would be in reality. Will we still be hyped about it or will the dream crash? Ooh, that huge. No. I really, really love how much space we have. That's so cool. I have to say, it was in a way relieving to realize that now we wanted it even more than ever. So how did you feel with the movement of the waves? You felt it. And in the beginning, I think I also didn't feel good in my stomach. But it was also because maybe I was hungry and later it got better. And also, I mean, this was the day which they also said was one of the, let's say, the most shakiest day. Uh, they also had calm waters before, but it's good that we were 
on the cat when it was that shaky and you felt it. But did you see the monohol which was next to us? <laughs> Rolling I'm like, I'm happy I'm sitting on this one and not inside that. But <laughs> hey, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, but still I'm open somehow to see also tinier boards. What do you think? Yeah. I also think that it would make sense to start on a small board. You know, especially also that we learn sailing and then we also kind of really live for a long time on the boat and say like, okay, that's amazing. Yeah. Because currently we say like, yeah, but the movement is fine. You just have to get used to it. Yeah. But what is if you never get used to it? Or what if you just don't like it? You know, after a while, like after living two months, three months on the boat and having a small boat and living in the Mediterranean Sea where it's anyway calm, or most of the time calm. And so many beautiful places where you can sail to, I think that would be a great option actually. Yeah. Still, I would love to have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Still, we spend the whole morning checking other cats. Yeah. <laughs> it was I mean, amazing. Now, amazing. now we also saw one cat, which is uh, the Lagoon 380, which was for 110,000. Yeah. That's half the goal now. Half the goal. Only have to reach 50%. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I mean the catamaran was awesome. It was so great to be on the catamaran. It felt so amazing Yet yeah, it was so you know, like the saloon was amazing. You have this huge terrace outside You have so many rooms it Was amazing Yeah, and felt so real suddenly. I mean yeah. until now it was like yeah, we know this cat which we see wow. on Instagram on their account and like oh that's a nice cat to have how nice they have also changed the wood and made the kitchen all nice amazing also in case Ben and Elena you see this video thank you so much for the invitation it was just an amazing time yeah. Yeah. I think we are still on the right path but we have to now see <laughs> where to go we don't have to decide now but exactly. we know that we have two paths either start with a monohull or a smaller board and go to cat or we say we go all in yeah. <laughs> we don't have to make a decision no I think in the coming weeks we should also check out some small boats. Uh, maybe we can go to a harbor and yeah. just see or if, even if we find someone with whom we can sail, we should just do some sailing trips. Yeah. It was super cool, eh? I know. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. That's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it. Join us in next week's episode where we take our home to a Mars-like landscape. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet.